Okay. That was probably his worst misalignment. All right. He had a rib out. Oh, my poor baby. I'm sure that's from falling off the couch. <laughs> The owner's name is Nicole and the dog's name is Coco. Tell us the breed, the age, and anything you know about, you know, his, his uh, aches and pains. Okay, well, Coco is a great Pyrenees. He's um, three years old. He was three in May, and he's a rescue from a breeding hoarding situation in Florida. He was brought up after Hurricane Irma, and I ran into him on the street with my other multi crew. But sometimes I notice he'll fall off the couch and then he's like, uh, you know, with one arm or like a back leg or something like that. So, cause he could be clumsy, you know, he's just a big doofus. So I find that like, it's easy for him to kind of flop around and sometimes, and he can't talk, right? Like he can't tell me, oh mom, you know, my hip hurts a little. Does he chew and uh, like, does he have a toys like uh, balls or ropes that he, does uh, mouth work on? Me? All of the above. I get I get him bones from the Polish butcher that look like dinosaur bones and he'll <laughs> devour them. Like everyone's like, oh, don't give your dog chicken bones. This dog can eat anything. The reason why I ask is the first thing I noticed is the left TMJ. And I adjust TMJ, it's really easy. It doesn't make it click. Okay. Actually dogs don't even click or pop too much. I mean, when they do, I'm startled in that it's so rare that we just don't hear cracks like we do with humans. Okay. And, but, so, you can come around and look if you want, but I'm right on the TMJ, and um, it's right up here. Okay. And he has a left TMJ, so okay. got it. Okay, Did awesome. You see how easy that was? Yeah, that was really nice. And that happens sometimes with, especially performance dogs that chase balls, or, um, but but active dogs that like to always have something in their mouth. My son's uh, dog always can't even do a walk without something in its mouth. Yeah, no, for sure. It either needs a stick or a ball or a toy to go for a walk. Yeah. So I just adjusted TMJ. It's like smoking TMJ. a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I think very similar. Probably so, healthier though. <laughs> so I'm checking the range of motion coming head up. And let's check here. Let's check left lateral rotation and lateral flexion. Good, I'm checking total range of motion, bringing his nose all around. Now dogs are predators. I work with horses too, which are prey animals. Horses, it's really important that they have the 360 degree panoramic vision because they always have to, they'll get very stressed without it. But dogs need that range of motion too. And I'm feeling something on the lower cervical at C6 on the right, because when I brought the head around to the left, it came all the way to the shoulder, no problem. When I brought the head all the way to the right, it had a restriction here. So I'm finding this now and got it. Oh, good boy, look at you. Now let's recheck range of motion. When he lets me, and let me get on this side, it's easier. Good boy, Coco. Go. So now we go all the way around, good. And that bone's back in for sure. Oh. So I'll switch my hands. I'm really a righty, so I prefer my other side, but I'm good on both sides. Now I'm down through the thoracics. Dogs have seven cervicals, 13 thoracics, and seven lumbars. Humans have 12 mid-back bones, thoracics, and five lumbars, but they have one more thoracic and two more lumbars. And coming down the spinuses, here's one at L1. Got it. See, it doesn't hurt them. Now I'm at the sacrum, sacral base. Let's come back up. Let me just check the atlas now. I got a little bit of the atlas. Let's switch sides. Got it. So that was a right superior atlas. We did left TMJ. We did C6 on the right, which is the lower neck. And we did L1. Now I'm going to have to stand up his back end. You might hold his face now, sure. just so he doesn't step off. I'm going to bring each leg back, so I'm checking range of motion on the back right. Actually, it's nice. Rubbing the quad, rubbing the glute. 
I always like to check the uh, palpate the glute muscles and check them bilaterally, see if they feel the same, because dogs can get sciatica, especially these big dogs. Now I'm in the hip, I'm on the femoral head and just checking to see um, muscle spasms around the head of the femur. I feel a little one right here, so I'm gonna rub it out for a second just with a massage. You can't see so much with all his hair, but that's where I am. Bring the leg up, checking each joint, checking the toes. They feel good. Let's bring that leg back one more time into extension. Perfect. Switching legs now. Ankle, each little leg. Let's check uh, the tail. I'm under base of the tail where the tail meets the sacral apex. And I'm um, motioning it, coming down the tail, checking each little segment, doing a little extension on it, sort of relaxing, especially the way I do it. I'm going to check the abdominal muscles to make sure he's not creating any spasm because, especially quadrupeds, they deal a lot with gravity. We all deal with gravity, but if their back hurts, the stomach can extend. Think of a horse with a sway back. Dogs can get that too. I'm just checking all through there and I'm checking the pecs, the shoulder. Let's bring the front arm up now on the left. And check that out and feel the toes. Each little joint. I'm going to check their shoulder. Good switching arms now. Nice. Toes. I'm working as I go, so I'm just like flexing and palpating and range of motion. Onto the elbow. A little, it's a little crickety on this side. So what I'm feeling is a little crepitus or a little kind of gravelly noise. So I am going to adjust the uh, shoulder on this side. There we go. Got it. So I checked. I just adjusted the the humerus, the the right shoulder, the uh, scapula, and a little bit at the elbow. Now I'm behind the shoulder blade right now, and there's a big old spasm here. I think he's got a rib out here, so I'm going to adjust the rib next. Yeah, there it is. Like it's out of its socket? No, 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 no. It's just um, risen up a little bit, a little high. Here, you can feel it. Come over here. Right there is a, it's like a muscle nut. Do you feel that? But that should be laying flatter. Okay. So I'm going to just adjust it. And it, it, it rolled a little bit, so I'm going to adjust it um, cranially, which means towards the head. Caudally is towards the tail. Oh, got it. Okay. That was probably his worst misalignment. All right. He had a rib out. Aw, oh, my poor baby. I'm sure that's from falling off the couch. Yeah, and that could make him walk a little funny, too. Yeah. Let me just check the overall rib cage. Up, 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 up. I know. Just a little bit more, sweetie. Up, up. We're almost done. Up, up. Oh, boy. Just because he might have, like, lopsided his rib cage. No, it's okay. Good. Checking the ribs. Checking that TMJ one more time. Okay. I think that's it. So what we're going to do is don't feed him any treats yet. We're going to just have him come down and see if he shakes out his body, okay? Okay. Just kind of him getting a reset. There you go. Do you want your for this? Pop off.